What it do, my moochies? Good morning. <laughs> so guys, with only a couple of days here left in Belgrade, mm -hmm. and after eating all that traditional food, we figured we'd do something else traditional and go to a kafana. Yes, and not any kafana, the oldest functioning kafana in Belgrade. And you might be wondering what the heck is a kafana. Don't worry, I'm wondering the same thing too, <laughs> but I know there's food there and that's oh, what's yeah. important. And if you like food, then make sure to subscribe and we'll show you what it is. Vamanos. Like a coke in Serbia. Okay. Serbia is the best of best in Rakia. And for you driving or not? I, I, I'm not driving, so I guess I'll try the same thing. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> 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 so we're going to try Rakia, and I'm super excited. I had to ask because when you read in the website, sometimes they say drink it before food, during food, or after food. I don't know. I have to ask. And now you guys have the answer before food. <laughs> All right, so right next to the Archangel St. Michael Cathedral is this kafana. This kafana has been here for over a hundred years, and the name of this kafana is Kafana Question Mark. Reason why is because over a hundred years ago, this kafana went through so many name changes, and all those names were related to the church, but at some point the church no longer wanted to be affiliated with the kafana because of some, you know, rakia type stuff going on. But anyway, today it doesn't have a name, so it leaves it with a question mark, and that is why it's there. Kafana today is one of the best places to try some traditional foods here in Belgrade or in Serbia, period. So that's what we're doing, because that's all I really know, is that they have food, and so that gets me here. Oh, that's it? That's it. Like a cook in Serbia. <laughs> like a cook in Serbia. Like a cook. <laughs> <laughs> I don't have a problem with that. With drugs in Serbia. <laughs> you want water? Oh, yes, without yeah. gas, without gas? Without gas. Without, without gas, it's fine. Thank you. One thing also about rakia is that you want to drink it slowly. Even though they serve it in like little shots, this is not like a regular shot that we have, I don't know, chupito in Spain or a shot in the U.S. You like drink it slow, you die, <laughs> and then you keep the conversation going. Jeez, this is strong. <laughs> <laughs> All right, baby, I think we have to cheer first. Ching, ching. And it is well known in Serbia that you have to look at my eyes while we drink. Oh, you mean well known in our relationship? <laughs> <laughs> That's nice. Until it hits you down. Just making sure I can still breathe fire. Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah. That's what do stuff. you think? It's good, it's really good. Um, it's different from the one we have at home. Yeah, it's definitely different from the one we have home. This is definitely something that will wake you up for your meal, since you have it before the meal. <laughs> this will wake you up and the rest of your system as well. Yes. <laughs> so it's what is this made of? For huh? What is made of? Plum. 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 Okay. Yeah, it's actually good. It tastes really good. It's, it's strong. <laughs> it's strong. Strong. Back home in Serbia, here Thank is you. everything strong. Everything strong? <laughs> <laughs> And everything, big food, big people, big. Yeah, e even the women here are super tall. Everything's women big. Are so I know big. I know it's so for you, but <laughs> please, you are with me too. Just look at, look at. Everything but the woman. <laughs> yes, we are from Balkan, it's everything good, everything big, you know? And in Montenegro, and in Serbia, and in Boston, and Croatia, Excuse All the Balkans, yeah. yeah. Balkans is crazy. <laughs> we're living, beautiful. We are living uh, for tomorrow, no? Yeah, that's right. Today for tomorrow. For tomorrow is not day. We don't know what's happening, but we we living today. Love it. Yeah, like gypsy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Mañana ya veremos. This is gulash. No, this is like that. That's goulash, that's beef meat. Mm -hmm. Nice. And I must sell some, tell, tell something. Uh, this is the breakfast for one person in Serbia, you know, but light breakfast. This is a light breakfast? Light breakfast, for one person. <laughs> one person? Maybe you want to ask what is for dinner here. <laughs> dinner is called pig here. <laughs> Thank you.
All right, so guys, when it comes down to food, obviously we try to critique it, but most importantly, we try to enjoy it. And some of the categories that we go through with food, most likely is obviously the presentation, the smell, the texture, and the taste. Right off the bat, this food here passed presentation. It's different, something that I'm a little accustomed to with the goulash, which is one of the dishes that we ordered. This goulash just looks like meat, gravy, mashed potatoes, and that, that works for me. So presentation, good. Same thing with the sarna or sarna sh sh shra. Sarma. I mean, yeah, that, that right there. I'm not gonna get that. That definitely passed presentation because it's very unique and I like it. Now, texture-wise, the shar sarna. Sarma. <laughs> sarma is very soft. It's like cabbage rolls, I believe. That's stuffed cabbage. And it's very soft, as you can see. And of course, mashed potato is mashed potato, but this is really nice. And I'm kind of excited to try it. I see some meat. Ooh, look That's at that pork. meat. That's that pork. Oh, uh -huh. snap. All right, so the pork has some good texture to it. I guess I'm trying this I first. have my eyes on that. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. I said I have my eyes on that one. Well, I have my fork on it, so yeah. <laughs> the smell, definitely passed the smell test. Oh, yeah, here we go. Oh my gosh, the pork is literally melting in mouth. I really, really, really. Yeah, all that. Oh man. Oh yeah, and this juice, the gravy. You know, you can leave me that piece. I could, but that'll make me a nice person and we know I'm hungry. <laughs> mm. Is that your revenge for making, me, for making you walk? Oh yeah, this is how you pay me back for walking. If you ever want me to walk with you anywhere, guys, make sure there's food at the end of it. <laughs> I'm about to go in here again, but this is your meal anyway. <laughs> I'm gonna move over to my meal. Okay, now it's your the, meal. Which is the goulash. Okay. Like, ooh, ooh, I'm dropping gravy everywhere. Can't be doing that. This looks good. Oh, it's nice and soft too. Look at that. All right, let's get up in here. I'm gonna try to get you. Come, you stop fighting me. <laughs> All right, so this looks pretty huge. All the gravy and everything. Yeah, this definitely smells like a good old, um, like a stew beef almost. Yeah. Mm. The gravy. I am not big on eating fat, but the fat on this meat <laughs> is my best friend. <laughs> oh my gosh. This is really good. I got to mix this in with some mashed potatoes. Let me go in for another one. Hold up. Um, the meat just literally melts. It's a great texture. It's not too soft, not too hard. I like where I can at least feel the meat, but don't want to act like I'm chewing bubble gum the entire time. This is really good. I didn't expect to really enjoy the, the cabbage part, the sauna as much, but definitely this um, goulash. Oh my goodness. And the mashed potatoes. Winner. So I'm going to serve myself a little bit of goulash because my baby think it's okay to take it from the plate directly. Uh, but I yeah. have manners. So I'm gonna put it right there and I'm gonna get some mashed potato. And so goulash is usually a dish from Russia. I have tried Russian goulash before, uh, but we keep seeing it in every single restaurant here. And when we sat down and talked to the waiter here, he said, you have to eat goulash here. So why not? Now it has to be super, super tender because I don't know if you noticed, but Lila's got like a huge piece of meat, put it in his mouth and kept talking like nothing was happening. If that meat wasn't tender, he would have choked on himself. Maybe I was just that hungry. Which is what I was expecting. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so a little bit of goulash, a little bit of mashed potato. This is really to die for. It is so tender and it has such a nice flavor. I can tell that there's peppers and carrots in the preparation, even though you don't see it. They might have like with all the vegetables and that's where like the um, sauce is coming from, but it's really soft and it's very flavorful. Let me put a stop into the goulash and let me try the sarma that I've been looking for it in a lot of places. But this seems to be more of a um, winter dish. So you don't necessarily see it now in the middle of August because it's too damn hot. 
And another thing I have to confess is that I'm not a big vegetable lover. I mean, I like carrots and lettuce and tomatoes, like the regular stuff, but when it comes to like cauliflower or broccoli or um, cabbage, I'm a little bit on the fence with it. But it has rice and it has meat, and obviously it has pork because we have seen it before. So I'm very curious to see. Now, forgive me if I make some faces. Mmm. Mmm. I mean, I know I'm eating cabbage. I can't taste the cabbage at all. I just feel like I'm eating meat with onions. And as you, meat with onions, and as you bite into it, um, you can feel like the texture of the cabbage, but then immediately like the flavor of the meat and the rice take over and it has a really nice um, sour flavor to it. I'm slowly drinking my first resources that I don't remember what the name is. <laughs> but anyway, guys, Kafana, we've been talking to you about this history of it, uh, why it's so funny, the name behind it and the food, but we haven't told you what really a Kafana is. So kafa in Serbia means coffee. And so kafana is a place where you will go have coffee and you know, smoke a cigarette back in the days. Well, still, actually you can still smoke here. But anyway, uh, kafanas had transitioned into a lot of things. So from a coffee shop, kind of, sort of, it became a place where people would come, enjoy some brachia and talk about politics, arts, and so on. But later on within the years, it started created like a really bad reputation because it was like the house of sin. So would people would come, drink alcohol, and go crazy or whatever. But today, as Lila said before, it's one of the best places to get homemade traditional Serbian food. So don't miss your opportunity to come to a Kafana. Find one, it doesn't have to be this one, but this one is really cool to see because of the history behind it. Yeah, it's time for the final verdict on this. <laughs> oh, so full, so full. Because you eat too fast. You get to relax and enjoy well, the food. When you, when you make me walk like 10 miles oh, and I see food for miles. the first time in 10 miles, I'm gonna go crazy. If you guys really want to see how much we walk to get uh, here, go to our Patreon page. Become one of our Patreons and see the whole walk. It was five minutes. Spoiler alert. Five, it wasn't five minutes. Go. <laughs> anyway, so for the final verdict, guys, the question that needs to be answered is, would you order this again if you came to the restaurant? Is it something that you would order if you go to a restaurant or is it just something you would try because it's unique? Both of these dishes are definitely something I would order coming back to this restaurant. Probably more so for me personally, the uh, the goulash. goulash, the goulash. Mm -hmm. Oh man, that was just delicious. I was just about to say that. I will order goulash every time I come to this restaurant, but I will not order sarma every time that I come. And it's not because I don't like it, it's because I would like to try something else. But I will go with, with the goulash because I love that, and I would love to know that I have something that I can go to that I know that I love. Yeah, yeah. You, you always need that, at least that one dish at yes. your favorite restaurant that you can just fall back to when you can't decide on something new to try. Yeah. The sarma, the snar, the sh 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 sarma. 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 See, I knew I was saying it right. Yes. <laughs> but the sarma is really delicious. It's something that I would order, but nowhere near the, the amount of times I would order the goulash. The goulash yeah. would definitely be like my fallback, probably always meal to come here and try. If I don't feel like trying something new, automatic goulash, don't need a menu, that kind of good was yeah. that deliciousness. Yeah. But guys, that's going to do for us. We really hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. And remember to live the life you want, love the life you live, and travel. Vamos a Oh, that's a cool <laughs> trick. So, rakia, made of fruit usually. It's not vodka, it's not wine. It's specifically from this region, from the Balkan area. And it's, if I were to say it in a way, brandy. That's what I will describe it. I hope you guys really enjoy this floating camera trick we have going on right now. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like Federico Fellini. Oh, like Fellini. Yeah, Fellini. We have a master here. Yeah, yeah, I'm master for that. <laughs> Excuse me, I'm going to add some bread to this. Mm, oh, yeah. And I love Serbia for this part. They love bread. I love bread. And they like meat. I like meat.
they keep telling us everywhere we go that Serbian food is all about bread and meat. And even, we don't have a problem with that. <laughs> even the guy here says, we eat bread on bread. <laughs> <laughs>